wanted to say, in addition to all the stuff that Matthew said about me, I'm also a professor of unrequited poetry uh, at CCNY. They brought me here as an authority on you know, they say money makes the world go round, guys, but they also say money can't buy you love. Let's remember that. A song and a movie say that. You don't need money to get love. You can find love anywhere. It could be in the wind. It could be on a tree. It could be in the faces of your female colleagues, your young female students. You know, people think money is a goal, but ultimately, the only reason people attain and, and, and gravitate towards money is to, is to use it to find as a means to get love. Sometimes you, you, you pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars in the pursuit of love. Sometimes your love is so valuable, you might pay someone $130,000 not to talk about the love that you share. It's so valuable. So invaluable. You don't even need another person to love. You can love yourself. Love is so powerful. Sometimes you can just be by yourself and you're flipping through the channels on your television and you see a game show or you see an old movie and then you just, you find yourself watching, um, you know, like a some female figure skating and you're admiring their athleticism and their costumes and then your mind conjures the image of a, of a female colleague or a young female student and then you're just loving yourself right there on your futon. And the neighbors are pounding, shut up in there, stop loving yourself. And you're like, I can't, you're not done yet. Um, yes, I will read some of my poetry, sir. Thank you for asking. Love, glove, above, dove, shove, no, love. Thank you for asking. It's getting warm. There is a reason why there's a federal law requiring read the Love is Patient poem at every wedding. <laughs> we all know this. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'll read it to you now. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It does not brag. It does not humble brag. It does not poke. It does not prod. It does not pitch. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It does not slut shame or body shame. It does not mansplain or white splain or straight splain. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices in truth. Can you say that about money? I don't think. <laughs> Love always protects. Love does not park in your parking spot. It does not eat your lunch if you clearly put your name on it in the work fridge. It does not start dating your ex-girlfriend two weeks after you guys broke up because she said she wanted to be alone and have time to herself. No, Professor Daniel Gertler does that. Fucking philosophy department assholes. All money is covered in cocaine. I think that's a fact that I don't know if everybody knows. Even the coins, guys. Even the coins are covered. Okay. What do we think of? We're going to get to my pictures. What do we think of when we think of love and money? These are, this is a money guy. Let's look at this first money guy. Oh, I've got it. It says Q on it. Look at this money guy. My God. What's wrong with him? Is he lighting? the hundred dollar bill with his cigar, or is he lighting the cigar with the hundred dollar bill? Good sure. Okay, next slide. Look at this guy. He's licking the money. Why, why is he licking the money? Because he loves it. Oh, because it's covered in cocaine, is it? And because he's a disgusting pervert. I obviously purchased, purchased this picture with all this. You know why? Because I don't care about money. I did it for free. Thanks. 
Thanks, guys. Look at this guy. He's eating the money. That sandwich cost a thousand dollars. Okay. He's an idiot. Let's go to the love guys. Now, we all know this fun little documentary cartoon called Love Is. Okay? Look at these two. Love Is. Someone who makes you laugh more and worry less. Look at these crotchless little nymphs. Look at them. They're so in love, they're throwing their energy and tax bills in the air. be a water bill. <laughs> now look at this photo of them here. Love is watching the game with him and not asking questions. That's right. She's so in love she realizes I shouldn't be an annoying woman. I should shut up and sit two inches away from the TV and watch the game. That's love. This is my favorite picture of love. Love is when he makes you feel like a million dollars. Who knows what he's doing behind there to make her feel like a million dollars, but she loves it. She doesn't need the money, thank you.